Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video on the Ivy Lounge YouTube channel. My name is Marcus and if you don't know me, please watch the previous video where I give a brief introduction about myself as well as what this YouTube series is about. Today we'll be covering a topic that I feel many IB students are extremely worried about and they are curious to know about you know, how they can use their IB certificate to enter university or whether the, I, the universities that they want to enter even accept the IB DP certificate. So in today's video, we'll be going through just exactly that question and I'll be splitting it into three main questions that I receive personally in IB Lounge a lot. So stay tuned as we go through each of those questions and I'll see you soon. Hi guys, so welcome back. So I'll be talking about the first question that many students ask me, which is, do all universities actually recognize and accept the IBDP as an entrance document to universities? And the quick answer is no. So after looking around the internet and looking at the actual IB website and so on and so forth, what I came to realize was that not every single university would accept the IBDP. And I couldn't find a straightforward answer to every single university. So I'll be sharing with you all the information and all the research that I could find. So first of all, something that I found out was that IB graduates actually apply to nearly 90 countries, 90 different countries every single year. Wow, 90 is actually such a huge number and I also did more research and found out that there are only 195 countries accepted or recognized by the UN, the United Nations. So 90 constitutes about half and this is actually quite a number of countries for uh, you know, uh, academic qualification. On the IBO website, there's also a video which I will link in the description below of Stanford's Assistant Dean of Admissions. Now, in this video, she claimed that universities are generally aware of the IBO. Now, we have to pay careful attention to the word aware because this doesn't mean that they recognize or accept it, but they, are just, they just know of the IBO. So remember that when you are applying uh, or when you watch that video. Now, um, it is also mentioned in the IBO website that the IBO is actually gaining recognition around uni for universities around the world. So now this is obviously good news if you are an IB student and if you are thinking of uh, applying to universities all around the world. So, I so universities are actually getting to know the IBO better, getting to know the syllabus better, getting to actually realize why the IBDP is actually something that they can consider as an admissions criteria, which is, of course, you know, really good news. Now, the third thing is that it is also mentioned that liberal arts institutions tend to generally accept or rather recognize the IBDP as a uh, qualification. And this is because of a few reasons. Number one, because there is some similarities between the IBDP and a liberal arts background. Next is because of the breadth of courses uh, actually uh, offered in the IBDP. And lastly, because uh, some liberal arts institutions also believe that the IBDP challenges students beyond just the standard high school settings. So what this means for sure, I'm not entirely certain, but what I believe it means is that the IBDP actually facilitates a more holistic development of students rather than just a purely academic. So this is actually in the previous video where I talk about what the IBDP actually is. But briefly, it also entails that the IBDP actually has various components apart from just academic ones or examinations where they help to develop students both professionally and in their own personal development. I think universities are starting to actually see the merit of this and this could be why more universities are aware of the IBDP and also why liberal arts institutions are generally beginning to accept it. Alright, so now I'll be going through uh, some of the research that I did and hopefully this will help you to actually um, see that not all universities 
actually accept or recognize the IBDPS and academic qualification into their schools. So uh, I won't be listing all of them because it's quite a long list. But what I will do for you is that I will link the description of where you can find each country's uh, kind of protocol uh, in the description below. So from this, you should be able to click into your country that you want to find out more and see if they accept the IBDP. So let me just give you uh, some examples of where some countries may not actually recognize or accept the IBDP. So for example, in Canada, it is said that there are no single national policy and the IBDP actually does not guarantee admission, though they did mention that it would help in the, app in the application, but it does not guarantee admission. There are other com com rather confusing uh, statements from various countries and some that I do not understand due to the language barrier, but I will just be going through a few more. So another one is, uh, for example, Kazakhstan, which only mentions on the IBO website that they only recognize the MYP certificate and not the DP. They, they didn't say that they didn't recognize, but they also didn't say that they did. In Malta, I don't really know where Malta is, but in the University of Malta, um, some subjects in the IBDP are actually not recognized. So this includes uh, Group 1 English Language, uh, Group 2 Language BSL, Group 3 and 4 Environmental Systems and Societies, and Group 5 Computer Science. So as you can see, not everything in the IBDP is actually recognized here. In some countries, it also is stated, for example, in the Philippines, that most universities in the Philippines recognize this, but not all. And in Taiwan, uh, the statement is more clear where they say there is no formal recognition of the IBDP. So in conclusion, it does not seem like all countries or all universities formally recognize the IBDP as an academic qualification into their universities. But it seems like most universities around the world actually do. This is also for the more popular universities such as those in the US and UK as well as uh, for some other countries like Singapore and Hong Kong which actually generally the universities in these countries actually do recognize the IBDP. So how do you actually know or how do you actually find out? What you can do is to follow the link in the description below or to actually contact the university directly. That is the surefire way for you to know whether your university of your choice actually recognizes the IBDP. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. This is just an inference on some of the country statements. I'll also be making a video where I'll be going through more in depth of, of a walkthrough into specific countries. So uh, stay tuned for that.